Hello everyone! In today's ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial, I would like to show you how you can create a two-step order form in ClickFunnels 2.0. Before we start adding elements to our order form, let's first connect the products to our order form funnel step. If you don't know yet how to create products in ClickFunnels 2.0, you can check out the video that will appear as a card here. And I already prepared the products that we're going to add to our funnel step. We're going to add a main product and one of the order bump products, so we see how our two-step order form will look like. Now let's go back to our funnel step. Click this icon to open the menu. Click Add Products. Click Add Product. Select the product that you want to add to your order form our main product and another product as an order bump. To let ClickFunnels know that you want to use this product as an order bump, you just need to drag it here in the order bump section. If you want to learn more about creating, adjusting and customizing order bumps, you can check out this video tutorial. And now we can add our two-step order form to our funnel step. If you don't have a ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find links to a free trial in the description of this video. There are two options, a regular 14-day trial and an extended 30-day trial. It's all explained in the description how you sign up and what's the difference. And no matter which option you pick, if you create your ClickFunnels 2.0 account with our link, you will get our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus to help you master the platform faster. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you will also find some package deals from ClickFunnels that will help you to save a huge amount on your subscription and get some bonuses. The element that we are going to use for the two-step order form is called the checkout element. If you go to the settings of the checkout element, you can see that here you can adjust the numbers of the steps that your order form has, like one-step order form, or you can even select three steps. But in this video we are going to create the two-step order form. So once again, there is no separate two-step order form element like it's used to be in ClickFunnels 1.0, but there is the checkout element that you can customize to your needs. If you haven't worked with the checkout element yet, there are a few things that you should know and keep in mind when you're working with this element. First of all, there are different states of the checkout element. There's the guest state, and that mode is used when we don't have any data from the customer on file. And the saved mode is used when we already got some data from the customer and we have it on file. For example, you would use the saved mode of the checkout element if you want to create a one-step upsell or downsell. But what we need right now is the guest mode. The next important detail is that the checkout element consists of different components, like the header, the order form, input settings, and so on and you can customize all of them separately. You can adjust the settings of all of them separately. If you click on the header, then you will be able to adjust the look and also change the settings for the header. And third, use the breadcrumbs here to navigate between the components of the checkout element. For example, right now we are in the settings of the header, you can see it by the headline here. And if I want to go back to the settings of the checkout element, I just click the checkout in the breadcrumbs here. And last but not least, you can hide the components that you don't need in your checkout element. For example, if you don't want to have this header, you can just hide it. Now that you know how the checkout form works, let's customize our order form a bit. Again, when you want to adjust the style, the look of a specific component, you just click on its settings and let's reduce the font size here. If I scroll to the bottom, I can reduce the font size. Adjust other typography settings, change the color, and so on. So everything that you would usually be able to do in the ClickFunnels page editor. A lot of the elements of the checkout form have different states. As you can see, our header has states like incomplete, completed, and an error. And you may want to adjust the look of all those states. Same goes for the input fields. Let's go back to the settings of the checkout element and then find our input fields, input settings, you can see that they have different states and therefore will look differently in all those states. Right now we have the default state. If it's focused, they will look like this. If you have some error on the page, the fields will look this way and so on. Going back to the settings of the checkout element, using the order form block here, you can adjust what information you're requesting from your customer. For example, if you don't need the phone number, you may select hide here. 
If you don't need to show the billing form, you can also hide it. And same goes for the showing the shipping address. When you're done customizing the first step of the two-step order form, you may proceed with the second one. For that, go to the settings of the checkout element and then go to step two. On this step, we can see the products that we added in the beginning. That's our main product and an order bump. I would like to change the size of the images and also probably the look of the button. Let's do it. Click product select. Scroll to the bottom where we have the settings for our image and decrease the size of the image space. I think like this it's much better. Again, pay attention to the states of the components that you're adjusting because if you adjust the size of the image in the unselected state, in the selected state this image can still be big. So we still need to adjust it if you want it to look smaller in the selected state as well. For the sake of practicing, let's also make this line bold and increase the size of the price. Go to the product name section and change the weight of the font. Next, you can scroll to the product price and adjust the font size of the price. By the way, if you want to adjust the look and the style of those elements, you can do that directly in the settings of the element in the funnel editor. But if you want to adjust the content, for example, the name of the product, the price or the image, you would need to do that in the settings of the product, in the products section. Let's do the same for the order bump element, also decrease the size of the image and change the color of the button that we have here. Click on the element. It will open the settings of this specific element of the checkout form. Let's start with the button. Click on the button settings. Again, we have different states. Keep that in mind. Change the background for the unselected state. And I also will change the color of the text. Go back to the settings of the order bump element. Find the settings of the image and decrease the size of the image. At the bottom of the second step of our two-step order form, we have the order summary. And if you want to adjust the look of the order summary, again, you can click on this element and it will open the settings. And then step by step, you can adjust the look of different components of the order summary. Now let's save the changes and see how our two-step order form looks on the page. By the way, if you're already building a funnel or putting the finishing touches on your funnel, grab our free funnel launch checklist in the description of this video to ensure that you don't miss any crucial steps and that the launch of your funnel goes smoothly. I will quickly fill in the information, click next and that will bring us to the second step of the order form. And on the second step of our two-step order form, we see the products that we added to the funnel. That's it for today. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with a friend who may also benefit from it. And subscribe to our channel for more useful videos like that.